So we have two different types of LiDAR for lens use. This one is a fixed LiDAR and this one is moving LiDAR. There are different machines like you can carry with your hand, you can put it inside your head. Hit. So depending on what kind, how accurate you want your information, you get to choose what kind of LiDAR you want to use. Because for example, this one, every one second, it is shooting about more than 20,000. And then this one, maybe 60,000. The other one, maybe 20,000, 3,000, 2,000, depending on every second, how many shots they can make, you have to choose different lighters. So it really depends what kind of information you want to um, collect. Because, okay, let's say that, oh, this one for every second, 20,000. Yes, it is a very high quality like, information. Yeah. But the thing is this, to Bank make this and into and a database, it will take you more time, more money. Yeah. So you have to select the, Accurate doesn't mean that it is the best. Depending on where and when, how you want the information, you have to select the different <coughs> equipment. So actually, this one, yeah, okay, this is very accurate information, but it is honestly to tell you, we only use this for a very accurate information like uh, forest inventory. Because when we are moving, our mountain is a slope area. So it is difficult, uh, uh, and then okay, one more yeah. and then move, and then go here and then move like this. But when we are using for, uh, correct information that we use this one but that one also is suitable for moving in a mountainous and a hilly, hilly area Ooh. also it depends if the t trees are very tall or if the, how how big the area is you get to choose what kind of equipment you're gonna use because there is one that you can carry with your hand and it's only one kilogram the lighter like the drone mm -hmm. lighter we also have but this area we do have uh, oh, military area oh. yes okay. so over there behind <laughs> restricted yeah. area so uh, we cannot no we on. cannot fly oh, we have no to have permission on. from yeah. other governments yeah. mm. so we will show you inside yeah. Yeah. so i will explain a bit about this and then i will show you how we use it yeah. this Image. one they bring all the images yeah. of the colors so you see this middle part it turns like this and it turns like this. Okay. So it gets the shapes of the things. Okay. And the lens, they collect the colors of the okay. things. So when you put this data into the computer, the shape of the thing is collected by this side and the colors are collected by this side. So it gathers up inside yeah. the computer with the shape and the color. color. 130 oh. meter is a distance when we are calculating, when we're taking the meter. 30 okay. meters when we are doing Some a flat touch. ground. Okay. Uh, this one takes the uh, the length of the the tree, and this one takes the flat information. So there are more models with only one. Then that means uh, the information about the length, like the height, height. it will yeah. be not that accurate. We do some settings here. How many times you're going to shoot in one second? So so you can select. I I only need the shape of and the volume of it. Then you don't. You can select. Oh, this other things I can. Uh, eliminate yeah. so also this camera uh, you want to scan this area one time or two times so depending on it maybe it takes one minute or it takes like two minutes. The, uh, they, they are checking the volume and the shape of us yeah. and then the color yeah. of the yes. yeah. right now it's yeah. taking picture That's of us yeah. then we can calculate the volume of the carbon that contains inside the yeah. tree yeah. So we can calculate the volume of it when they move, it tells us how we are moving and which path we are taking. Now I'm going to make a turn. He, he's going to scan all around here. You can see that he is moving. This one can collect video information. Video information and volume information, color. color. Color, video. volume, volume, okay. video, video, 360 angle. Yeah. Okay. So, so we have a lighter inside that I want to show you. It is about 300,000 USD, and it is because they, it can take a picture not only from the corona at the top of the corona, but also it can uh, like it's like X-ray. It can see through. Yeah. And even the roots. So depending on what kind of information you need, but the drone, that, uh, the data that we have inside, most likely the drone data only can collect information of the volume of the outside. Yeah. But that one can is like see-through, okay. can see-through, yeah. so can calculate more accurate information even underground. Okay. So depending on what kind of lidar we have, we have different ways of using that lidar in a, in the spots. So 
the first machine you must use it as a dots and then the second machine you have to use it in a line we do this kind of analyze too to have the most accurate uh, information so I wrote a paper about this kind of uh, the way of how using the lighters uh, which is the most uh, correct and efficient uh, way of using it so SI journal you can search my name and read the paper if you want yeah. I would like to share this information with you guys, the video that we, we, when we were scanning inside our artwork to behind the, our institute. If you select the tree, we can move to the tree rapidly. We're going to move and we're going to select the information. So if you click the tree, you can find out how tall is the tree, how thick is the tree in the distance of your heart and where it is located and what kind of treatments yeah, the trees have. All this information can be uh, there and we can uh, research it. So this system we do a monitoring for uh, preventing any kind of forest disasters and also for forest health. I, we have in Korea more than 400 places where we get the information of the meteorolo meteorology. Mm -hmm. And then this, uh, the information we collect every one minute and we share this information at the in, inside the internet. Well, we share this with the, with the people. Uh, why we give so much information or importance of meteorology inside the mountain is because our country, Korea, is covered by mountainous areas. So to prevent any kind of forest disasters, we collect this information. So the basic, there are two big things that we do. The first one is we prevent or we pre-calculate the percentage of forest fire and uh, erosion. This is when, uh, this map is for erosion, like uh, we can prevent the erosion, like we can pre-calculate. And then the other one is forest fire. And the right side is because of the forest fire. So we collect this information as a database to, uh, the, for the prevention of forest fire and erosion control. Most likely when we talk about drones, we only had cameras on it. This one that you see inside here is a drone, drone plus LiDAR sensor at the bottom. There. Okay, there are many different kinds of companies that they, uh, they produce this kind of drones. And the one that we saw from outside is Lyca. And the sensor uh, that you see here, the LIDAR, is made from Austria. Legal is the name of the company. So this is about 30,000 US dollars. And, uh, but only the drone, so that means uh, more than 90% of the cost of that thing is, that thing is by, because of the, the, the LIDAR oh. camera. Actually, the drone is not expensive. The light, the camera is expensive. So we have to be careful when we are flying it. Yes. Why is this light so expensive? It is expensive because you know why? It is almost see-through. We can see underneath even the root systems, not only the volume. Uh, depending on the budget that you have in every country, you can get to select. And also, you have to select a light camera depending on the information that you want to collect. For example, if you only need the tall, the, the height of the tree, then you can choose a cheaper liner. But if you want, I wanted to select each and every tree and name the trees and collect the information, that is why I selected this liner, which is more expensive than the others. Okay, that, this machine is 3D printer that I have here. She will work on the volume and then the size of it, and then it will print it out in 3D. Yeah. These are information about the, all different kinds of LiDAR that we have here and depending whatever you are trying to select the information, you can choose the LiDAR from there. Yeah. So uh, starting from this year, early uh, May, uh, early March, I started uh, collecting the information of our forest uh, at back of the, in, uh, our institute. So every tree outside has its name and its number, so we can check the weight, the height, and the size of the chest, the length, and the corona size, and then crown the size, yeah. Yeah, crown size, and, and then diameters, the volume of the crown, and then the tree height. So every tree inside our <coughs> institute is uh, numbered. 
So I will show you on a video touching each and every tree and letting you know how tall, how big, how big is the crown. Yeah. Right now, uh, the Ministry of uh, uh, History and Tourism, they are select they are uh, collecting information of our natural treasures, like tree natural treasure, and we're taking we're collecting the information of the of these trees. So last year when we were doing the National Forest Inventory, we used uh, different kinds of drones, uh, which is a fixed drone, and then flying drone, and drone drone LiDAR, yeah. and uh, air, aero LiDAR, and moving LiDAR to collect all information. We can cut the branches or we can cut the tree. We can select one by one and get the information, individual information. Yeah. So depending every scientist, every scientist can uh, collect this information about yeah. what they need. So this information of the trees, we can uh, receive them, the height and then the length and so on, uh, by Excel and calculate it. Easily. 